Well, hello everyone and welcome to our letter of the day ideas video. Today's letter was Q is for queen and Sue was queen bee all day today. So maybe you want to have a crown on today as you do all the letter Q activities that I'm going to show you. Well, Sue, why don't you have a seat on your throne <laughs> and we will go ahead and show you all the ideas you can do for your day today. First, you can decorate letter Q with some jewels. Now I have on the weekly lesson plan and worksheets, I have some paper jewels that you can cut out and glue on or maybe you have some craft jewels, or if you don't have any of that, you could just color the whole letter Q yellow like gold. So after that, we learned how to write the letter Q. We learned that letter Q is just a letter O with a line. Let me show you that really quickly. So all you have to do is first make an O, and then make a line that slides down. And we actually today in my online classes turn this into a queen. Would you like to see how we did that? Okay, so this is kind of funny, but the queen is going to drink a glass of milk using her straw. So we're going to give her some eyes and a nose, and we'll put on some lipstick. See if I can, I'll have to give her orange lipstick because I, my red is not working. <laughs> wow, she looks pretty cool with that orange lipstick. All right, so we're going to add some hair onto the queen. And of course, she needs a crown if she's the queen. So let's add a crown on there on the top of her head. So there you go. That was letter Q. An O and then a line that goes down kind of like a straw. Well, I'll show you how to make the letter Q. All I have to do is make an O and a line. An O and a line. The line is going to start inside the O and come all the way to the green carpet. An O with a line. <laughs> well, let me show you how to make the little letter Q. So the big Q had a big O. The little Q is going to have a little O. And then the little Q is going to have a line that goes right beside it all the way down and just kind of bounce up. To me, we're going to make this one maybe a princess, I guess. And she's going to have really long hair like Rapunzel. See, it comes all the way down. So make a little O and then make a line that goes down and then just kind of bounce up. So here's little Q, make an O downstairs and then a line that goes down and bounce. An O and then a line that goes down and bounce. And let me show you something. I want you to go all the way back up. Let me change the marker so you can see. Go all the way back up and then down and bounce. So a little O and then down and bounce. So that's how we did our handwriting time. And then for the sound that letter Q makes, letter Q says qua, qua, qua. Letter Q says qua, qua, qua. Can you try to make that sound? Qua, qua, qua. Letter Q says qua, 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 as in quiet. So we're going to play the quiet game to practice that sound. Are you ready? On your marks, get set, go. Ooh, that was hard. It's hard to play the quiet game. I wanted to talk and make sounds. Let's try it again, though. What does letter Q say? Letter Q says qua, 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 as in quiet. Okay, on your marks, get set, go. Oh, wow, that 
that was hard. I almost talked. Letter Q says, qua, 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 as in quiet. Let's play it one more time. Let's see who's going to win. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> Letter Q says what? Qua, 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 as in quiet. Well, I want to show you about Q's best friend. Do you have a best friend? Who's your best friend? My very, very, very best friend is Jesus. Jesus is my best friend. Well, letter Q has a best friend too. Letter Q's best friend is you, the letter U. So let's put Q and U together. They are besties. They go to the playground together. They go to the library together. They go to church together. They go to McDonald's together. Q and U are almost always together. And Q and U makes the sound qua, qua, qua when you see them together. Qua, 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 as in quiet. Well, do you remember what those vowels are? The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U, A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowels. Well, whenever two vowels are walking along together, <laughs> the first one likes to be the queen and tell the other vowel what to do. The first one says, be quiet to the second vowel. The first one says, I can talk as long as I want to. The first one makes its long sound. A vowel's long sound is its own name. So the, the long sound of vowel E is E. Now remember, when two vowels are walking together, the first one makes its long sound and the first one thinks it's the queen and tells the second one to be quiet. Q is for qu quiet. So here we have two vowels walking. The first one's doing all the talking and talking as long as he wants to, and that's its long sound, E. And the second E is silent. It doesn't make a sound. Now I'm gonna put one more letter at the end, and this is letter N, and letter N says N as in no. So now we're going to try to put these sounds together. I'm going to show you how easy it is to learn to read. We know that Q U says qua, 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 as in quiet. We just learned that when two vowels are walking, the first one says its own name, E. The second one is silent, and N says N, ku, e, n, ku, e, n. What's that word? Queen. 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 That is the word queen. See how easy reading is. Queen. And we learned a new reading rule today. When two vowels are walking, the first one does the talking and the second one is quiet. Well, it's time now for math. And for math today, we did this really fun math worksheet. And all we had to do was just count the jewels and match the, the crown with the number of jewels, the number beside it. So let's count the first one. How many jewels can you see? One, two, three. So now we're gonna match to number three. So find number three and point to it. And if you want to get a copy of this worksheet, you just need to go to my website, Parents, and you need to download the weekly lesson plan, and it'll show you where to get this worksheet. All right, so there's number three. Let's draw a line. Now let's count how many jewels in the next crown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's draw a line to number seven. Where is it? There's number seven. Let's count how many jewels in the next crown. One. Where's number one? There it is up, up, up top. The next crown has how many jewels? One, two, three, four, five. Can you point to number five? There it is. Next, I see two jewels. One, two. Where's number two? This is number two. Let's count the last crowns, jewels. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there is number six. If you want a little bonus activity today, maybe you can add all the jewels. What's one plus three plus five plus seven plus six plus two? You could figure out how many jewels in all of those crowns all together. Well, that was our math time for today. And for music and movement, we did a song. It was called The Castle Song. I'll put the link below so you can do it too. For our today, we made a paper plate crown that looked like this. So let's head on over to the art table and I'll show you how to cut it out. Let's make a paper plate crown for craft today. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to color my paper plate yellow so that it can look like a golden crown. You can make your crown any color you want it to. Okay, now once you get your paper plate colored, the next thing you're gonna do is fold it in half. Then you're gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it right in the middle, but I'm not gonna cut the edge. I'm just going to get about that far down and leave the edge intact. Now I'm going to cut a triangle on this side. And I'm going to cut a triangle on this side. See how it looks like a triangle? And then I'm going to fold out the paper plate like this. And then I'm going to fold up all those triangles that I cut. Now you can decorate your crown with jewels if you want to, or you can just leave it like that. So there is a paper crown. So here's another look at that paper crown that we made using a paper plate. And if you don't have a paper plate, you could always just make a paper crown like this. Well, I bet you know about Queen Elsa. Queen Elsa is, she she's from the movie Frozen and she can make things freeze. She can make ice and snow in the movie, right? Well, I made something kind of looks like a snow castle today, even put a little flag on there, but I'm going to make this castle melt using science. So I made the castle kind of like you would make a sand castle with sand and water, but I used baking soda and water and stirred it up. Now the baking soda and water shouldn't be runny and gooey. It should be more like sand. So it still needs to have a little bit crumbliness to it. So then I put the baking soda and water mixture into a cup and then I put it into the freezer. Now, after it had gotten hard, I turned it out and put it on this plate. And so I put, I added a little flag and now I'm going to add some vinegar using a little eyedropper and we're gonna watch the castle melt. Now let's see how many squirts it takes before that flag comes down. Oh no, oh, it already came down one squirt and the flag was down. So what's happening is the baking soda and the vinegar are reacting. This is a chemical reaction and it's causing my castle to melt. 
Let's pour a bunch on there and see what happens. Oh no, my castle is melting, melting, melting. It's going, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Well, don't worry. I think Queen Elsa can make another snow castle, don't you? Well, our story today was called The Queen's Hat. So I'm gonna read it to you now. Do you know there's a real queen? She lives in London. And this book is about her. And you'll also see some sights around London. The Queen's Hat is by Steve Antony. The queen was on her way to visit someone very special when the wind went swish. The wind took the queen's favorite hat right off her head. It soared high above the queen. It whooshed high above the queen's men. The wind was so strong that it swept the queen's hat all the way to Trafalgar Square, and that's a statue of a lion. Her hat went all through London Zoo. Look at all the animals. The wind was so strong, it blew her hat all along the London Underground. That's like a subway train. Her hat kept blowing all around the London eye. That's a big Ferris wheel that goes around and around and around. Her hat kept blowing all across Tower Bridge. The wind blew her hat all over Big Ben. Big Ben is a big clock. It's really tall and it's in London. It's so tall it wouldn't even fit on the page. Her hat sailed farther into the sky, swoosh, until at last the queen and all the queen's men floated gently down to Kensington Palace. That's where the queen lives. They all floated down and so did the queen's hat. Who has the hat now? It's a baby, a baby has the hat. At least now the queen can get it back. Look at this guy right here. I'm gonna tell you what he's saying. He's the queen's helper. He's saying, would anyone like a cup of tea? <laughs> Maybe today you want to pretend to be a queen or a king and have a little cup of tea. And maybe you can wave like a queen like this, very fancy. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody, for a letter R. Goodbye. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Goodbye.